feel like I haven't been cooking enough fish lately, so I'm making a concerted effort to add just a little bit more fish into my roster of recipes. So today I'm making a cornmeal crusted trout. It's lovely. It's a pan cooked trout crusted with yogurt and cornmeal. Season your trout fillets with salt and pepper, and then spread a little bit of yogurt over each one. This is going to help the cornmeal to adhere. One of the reasons that we choose to use yogurt or mustard or something like that is that it's a low fat alternative to your standard breading. And in this instance, yogurt not only is helping the cornmeal to adhere, but it also tastes great. So it's a win-win situation. Have some cornmeal standing by. I have three quarters of a cup of cornmeal. Season it with some salt and pepper. It's pretty important that you season all the layers when you're coating anything, really. In this case, it's your fish, because you really want the flavors to penetrate. If you season just the crumbs but not the fish, it could be a little bit bland. If you do have skin and you like that crispiness, it actually helps to avoid sticking in a pan. Take your fish and place it yogurt side down into the cornmeal mixture. And then just sort of press on it a little bit to make sure that it's adhering and you get a nice coating. Meanwhile, you can have your oil preheating in your pan. I like to use a pretty high heat. Fish is very delicate. And in order to get a nice sear and brown us, you want a high heat and cook it quickly. Place the fish skin side down. Even if it doesn't have skin, put the skin side in first. You're probably gonna have to do this in two batches. You wanna cook the first side and then flip it, cook the second side, and you can drain it on towels while you do the second batch. While you're waiting for your fish to cook, you can make a little salad. I'm gonna make a radish and cucumber salad. Thinly slice some radishes and cucumbers. If you have a mandolin, you can totally use a mandolin here. I like to test my knife skills, though, by doing it by hand and see how thin I can get them. I think the fish is ready to turn, so I'm gonna be careful while I turn it to the second side. I'm using a nice long spatula. It's actually a fish spatula designed for turning fish over in a saute pan. Don't let the fish intimidate you, just go for it. It's a little scary, but don't be too afraid. Just do it quickly. So I have a nice crust on the skin side. If there was skin there, it would be really crispy right now. More on the salad. Add some cucumbers, thinly sliced. It's about equal amounts, about a cup or two of each. To make the dressing, I'm using yogurt again to maximize the use of my ingredients. I have half a cup of yogurt, the same yogurt I used before, a quarter cup of chopped fresh dill, and the juice of half of a lemon. You can save the other half for wedges to serve on the side. Today I'm just going crazy and squeezing it by hand. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> Yeah, but see, you know what happened? I got two seeds in there. That's what happens when you don't use your lemon squeezer. Take your fish out and let it drain just a little bit on paper towels. Beautiful, right? And now what you wanna do is wipe out your pan and do the other two pieces of fish. It's a little bit of a back and forth juggle here, but that's what cooking is all about. That's why I like to work close to my cooking area so I can do prep while I'm actually cooking. Add a little bit of salt and pepper for your dressing. Stir it up, and then you can toss your veggies. It's very refreshing. This salad is great on its own. You don't even need to make it as a side dish for this cornmeal crusted trout. Just make it, I don't know, anytime. Mmm, yum. Shall we eat? Beautiful and crusty golden. A little bit of your crunchy, refreshing salad on the side. A little bit of lemon. Squeeze on top. Maybe a little bit of fresh dill on top. Dinner is done. 30 minutes or less, cornmeal crusted trout and cucumber radish salad. Hi guys, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to click here if you want to subscribe and click over here if you want to continue watching more great videos like this.